first, I'd like to apologize for my absence over the last almost two weeks. It has been absolutely insane at work. I've been staying late for, for work for almost a week and a half. By the time I get home, I am too tired. So, that's been crazy. But I want to talk about something that happened last weekend. And it's, it's a t- touchy subject. Self-harm. Self-harm, okay. Last Saturday, I was grocery shopping with my wife when I got a call from one of my soldiers. And my soldier, you know, was being a really, really good friend to another soldier. soldier calls me and tells me that he's worried about this other soldier because he's been drinking a lot and because he's been expressing self-harm ideations. So I had to, I had to tell him, I'm like, ask him right off the rip if he's thinking about hurting himself or hurting others and his answer was yes so I left my wife at the grocery store and I immediately drove to the barracks where I grabbed this soldier his friend and we we took him to the emergency room so he could see some uh, some behavioral health personnel you know I had to immediately inform my my first sergeant my commander I let them know what was going on and they um, they came rushing to the hospital as well he was finally admitted and you know the whole time I'm, I'm talking to the soldier and I'm trying to explain to him that, that that it's worth living he's almost done with his tour in Korea he's almost done he's got about three four months left But I guess he just, he missed his family, you know, his wife and his kid so much. And he was just sad. He was really sad that he thought the only way he could deal with it is if he took his own life. And first, I'm just so, I'm happy that he trusted me enough to confide in me and tell me what he was going through because as a man that's one of the hardest things you can do is tell someone else that you need help and that you want to hurt yourself so I am I'm super proud of him for that and then secondly you know I told him um Look, man, suicide is a choice, and I want you to choose to fight instead. I want you to choose to fight for your for your child, for your wife, for you. I want 
want you to fight. I want you to choose to be alive. And I had to spend um, the entire weekend with him because, you know, he, he had to be on watch. We had to take away his shoes. We had to take away his belt. Anything that could self-harm. But over that weekend, I got to know this individual a lot better. I got to know... Um, I got to know more about his family, about what he likes, what he doesn't like. And I told him, you know, I was like, look, man, um, because he, because he felt bad. He felt bad that, like, he, he was taking away my weekend. I was like, no, man, I would prefer to spend my entire weekend here with you, making sure that you're safe, than to have to go to your funeral and give a eulogy, you know? Don't ever feel bad for, for calling me when you need help. I told him one, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I told him one, it's my job to take care of you, to ensure that you're doing good and you're well, so that when you go home, you're there for your family. And then two, I have had friends that have taken their own lives. And I wish, I wish they would have called me or called someone else to just hear them out. I guess the, the moral or the point of the story, y'all, is that there is help out there. There are people that care. And it's never just by yourself. I promise you, there's more people out there than you know that are battling some internal demons, some internal fights that just seem like they will never have win them and it just seems like an endless barrage of defeat one after another an endless ocean of sadness I promise you all of that ends eventually and you have to be strong enough to identify when you need help have to be strong enough to seek it because it's out there. The resources to get help are out there. It is never the answer to take your life. It is never the answer to harm yourself because you matter. You are worth it. You are not a mistake have a purpose. Whether you know it or not, you were put on this planet for a reason. So I need you. If you're going through something, if you have a friend that's going through something, I need you to seek help. And if you don't know how to deal with your friends having those thoughts that's fine there's three things you have to do one ask them directly ask them are you thinking about hurting yourself two is care for them be there listen do not judge and number three escort Escort them to the hospital. Get them to a, if they're a religious person, get them to a chaplain. Get them to their friend, to a family member, to the police station. Those three things can save someone's lives. 
because we all have a purpose on earth and we all, we all deserve to see that through. There is no reason that nobody should feel alone to the point where they don't ask for help or where they think they're alone. In this channel, we try to promote positivity, self-love, all in the meantime we're doing ASMR. There is a lot of light-hearted content, but this one is serious to me. I've lost friends to this myself. I've come very close. I've come very close to takes is one person to care. Be that person. And as cheesy as this is going to sound, it all starts with you. You. You have to be the change that you want to see in the world. And I promise you, it has a ripple effect. One positive act begets another and begets another. Next thing you know, it's exponential. So please, my platoon, if you ever think about hurting yourself or you have friends that are thinking about hurting themselves, do those three things. I'm going to put a link to the suicide hotline on my description. You give them a call. You talk to someone. You call your friend. Call them at three in the morning. Keep calling. Keep calling until somebody picks up. Because you matter. And you're worth it. And I promise you, you're not a mistake. This is ASMR soldier. You guys look out for one another. <laughs>